Greg from Lulzbot here, helping you break down some of the features and functionality on our new Lulzbot Mini 2 3D printer. In the description below, you can find a link to our full quick start guide video, which takes you from unboxing your printer to completing your first print. That video takes you through the process of operating your Mini 2 through the Cura interface, but one of the best things about the Lulzbot Mini 2 is the built-in GLCD controller. In this video, we'll show you how to navigate all the menu options, change filament, and start printing. Before you can start printing, you're going to need to load some filament. Go ahead and power on your printer. We need to increase the nozzle temperature to the operating temperature of the filament we're using. Press the control knob once to access the main menu. Turn the knob clockwise to scroll down to temperature. Select nozzle and increase the temperature to 205C for our polylite PLA filament. Press the knob again to select this temperature. If we navigate back to the info screen, we can see the temperature increase indicated by the arrow here. Now we need to retract any remaining filament from the tool head. Navigate to Movement, Move Axis. Select Extruder and Move 10 millimeters. Turn the dial counterclockwise until the filament backs out of the idler. About 50 millimeters should do the trick. From here, you can remove any remaining filament, squeeze the idler, and insert the new filament. Refer to the written or video quick start guide for a more detailed look at this process. Now we need to extrude some filament. Back in the menu, select Movement and Move Axis. Then Extruder and Move 10 millimeters. This time, turn the dial clockwise as needed until we see consistent and repeatable extrusion. The Lulzbot Mini 2 uses belts on the Z-axis instead of lead screws found on a previous model. This is great for faster speeds and better print quality. And if the X-axis becomes misaligned, simply navigate to Movement, Level X-axis. With that taken care of, let's start a print. With a G-code file loaded on your SD card, Insert your card into the slot. Navigate to Print from SD and choose your file from the list. It's that simple. That covers the features you'll use most often, but the GLCD controller lets you access all the functions needed for a typical printing workflow. The movement menu lets you manually adjust each axis on your printer. Or select disable steppers to move any part by hand. When your Lulzbot Mini 2 is printing, you'll notice some of the menu items change. You can select Tune to manually dial in print settings like nozzle temperature, fan speed, and Z offset. This is useful when printing with a filament outside of the standard 30 plus materials. Use the Pause Print option to pause in the middle of a print, or Stop Print to abort a print entirely. Finally, Use the Change Filament option to switch filament mid-print. The print will pause, the tool head will move to the side, and the extruder will back out the current filament. From there, you can change to your new filament and select Extrude as needed until you achieve consistent flow. Now you are ready to resume. You'll use this option to switch to a fresh reel when one is running out, or for switching to a different color, sometimes referred to as hot swapping. We hope this was helpful. Be sure to include any questions or comments you may have in the description below, and share your prints with the community using the hashtag Lulzbot. Thanks for watching.